Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Meadows Family Quiz. Really hope you're going to enjoy uh, the quiz that we've put together for you. Um, it's going to be um, in two parts. Part one is going to be general knowledge, sport and games. In between each of these, there will be a quick find and fetch activity because as every good teacher knows, when you've sat down for a little while, it's good to get up, have a little break, stretch those legs. So we'll have a quick find and fetch in between. Then part two is going to be food and drink, a very interesting movie round, and to finish, a Disney dare round. Ooh, intriguing. Let me tell you a little bit more about find and fetch. What I'm going to do after each round is I'm going to uh, give a little bit of a narrative and then you're going to, as quickly as you can, go and find a number of items that match the narrative. Now, um, I will be setting a timer of 30 seconds. And if you're not back within the 30 seconds with the correct objects, you get no points. If you get back within the 30 seconds with the correct items, then you get five bonus points for each find and fetch that we do. Good luck. Round one is general knowledge. There are 10 questions in each round apart from the movie round. You'll see why later. So, general knowledge, question one. What bones are babies not born with? What bones are babies not born with? Question number two. What civil rights activist refused to give up her seat on a bus? What civil rights activist refused to give up her seat on a bus? Question number three. What part of the body produces insulin? What part of the body produces insulin? Question number four. Name the seven dwarves. Name the seven dwarves from Snow White. All seven. You get a point for each dwarf. Question number five. Which planet does Superman come from? Which planet does Superman come from? Question number six. What is the chemical symbol for gold? What is the chemical symbol for gold? Question number seven. What star sign are you if you are born on Christmas Day? What star sign are you? if you are born on Christmas Day. Question number eight. In which European city can you find the home of Anne Frank? In which European city can you find the home of Anne Frank? Question number nine. How many stars has the American flag got? How many stars has the American flag got? And question number ten, the final question of the general knowledge round. Name the primary colours. Name the primary colours. 
Okay, let's find out what the answers were to the general knowledge round. Question number one. Babies are not born with kneecaps. Babies are not born with kneecaps. Question two. Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a bus. Rosa Parks. Question number three. The pancreas produces insulin. The pancreas. Question number four. Those seven dwarves. Sleepy, dopey, sneezy, dock, bashful, grumpy, and happy. Hope you got them all. That's one point per dwarf. Very generous. Question number five. What planet does Superman come from? Krypton. He comes from Krypton. The chemical symbol for gold, question number six, is AU. AU. Question number seven. If you're born on Christmas Day, your star sign is Capricorn. Capricorn. Question number eight. Amsterdam is the home of Anne Frank. Amsterdam. Question number nine. There are 50 stars on the American flag. 50. And question number 10, the primary colours are red, blue and yellow. Red, blue and yellow. Have a look, top your score up, see what you did. It's find and fetch time. Are you ready? Now, no cheating, no heading off before I've given the narrative. Here we go. Find and fetch number one. Bulk buying has been seen across the nation, but is your family guilty? Can you find and fetch a toilet roll, hand wash and pasta? Off you go, quick, quick, quick. Round number two, sport. Question one. What are the five colours of an archery target? What are the five colours of an archery target? Question number two. How many minutes are there in a rugby match? How many minutes are there in a rugby match. Question number three. How many players are on each side of the net in beach volleyball? How many players are on each side of the net in beach volleyball? Question number four. How many matches did Muhammad Ali lose in his career? How many matches did Muhammad Ali lose in his career? Question number five. How long is an Olympic swimming pool? How long is an Olympic swimming pool? Please give your answers in metres. Question number six. How many players does an ice hockey team have? How many players 
does an ice hockey team have? Question number seven. What is the name of the Barcelona football stadium? What is the name of the Barcelona football stadium? Question number eight. Which sport is played on the largest pitch? Which sport is played on the largest pitch? Question number nine. Which car won Fernando Alonso his first title in Formula One? Which car won Fernando Alonso his first title in Formula One? And question number 10 to finish the sport round. What is the only sport that has been played on the moon? What is the only sport to have been played on the moon? That's the end of round two. Are you ready to mark the sport round? Here we go. Question number one, the five colours on an archery target, red, blue, white, gold and black. Go on, I'll give you yellow if you've put yellow. Number two, there are 80 minutes in a rugby match, 80 minutes. Question number three, there are two players on each side of the net in beach volleyball. Two players. Question number four. Muhammad Ali only lost one match in his career. One match. Question number five. An Olympic swimming pool is 50 metres. 50 metres. Question number six, there are six players on an ice hockey team. Six players. Question number seven, fairly confident. There's a lot of people out there who will have got this one. The name of the Barcelona, Barcelona football stadium is, of course, Camp Nou. Camp Nou. Question number eight. Polo is the sport that's played on the largest pitch. Polo. Question number nine. Fernando Alonso won his first title in Formula One in a Renault. A Renault. And question number ten. The only sport to have been played on the moon is, of course... You've got it. Golf. Well done. Tot up your scores. It's time to stretch those legs again. Find and fetch number two. Boredom has been the curse of many during lockdown. Clearly not me, as you'll see from the movie round later. Can you find three items to prevent boredom? Go! Round number three, games. You all know how much I love board games. So here's a round all about board games. Question number one. 
Name the four stations in Monopoly. You can get an extra two bonus points if you can order them correctly from Passing Go. Name the four stations in Monopoly. Two bonus points if you can order them correctly from Passing Go. Question number two. What are the six weapons in Cluedo? What are the six weapons in Cluedo? Question number three. Which king in a pack of playing cards does not have a moustache? Which king in a pack of playing cards does not have a moustache? Question number four. How many coloured squares are there on a Rubik's Cube? How many coloured squares are there on a Rubik's Cube? Question number five. What game is advertised as the game of quick draw? What game is advertised as the game of quick draw? Now, I have to say, question six, it, it, it's a game changer. I love it. I never knew this before. I love, I love this question. Number six, in what board game would you see Edgar Mallory? Edgar Mallory. In what board game would you see Edgar Mallory? Question number seven. Can you name all four colours on a frustration board? Can you name all four colours on a frustration board? Question number eight. Does this person wear glasses? Is a typical question in which to play a game. Does this person wear glasses? Is a typical question in which to play a game. Question number nine. The phrase back to square one originates or is at least influenced by which board game? The phrase back to square one originates or is at least influenced by which board game? And question number 10. In which game is the objective to catch a rodent? In which game is the objective to catch a rodent? That's all 10 questions. Okay, let's mark the games round. Question number one, the four stations in Monopoly. I'm going to give them in the correct order. Kings Cross, Marleybone, Fenchurch and Liverpool Street. Question number two, the six weapons in Cluedo, the revolver, the dagger, the lead pipe, the rope, the spanner and the candlestick. Ooh, I wonder if you got all six of those. Revolver, dagger, lead pipe, rope, spanner and candlestick. Question number three. It's the king of hearts who doesn't have a moustache. The king of hearts. Question number four. 
There are 54 coloured squares on a Rubik's Cube. 54. Good bit of maths there for you. Question number five. Pictionary is advertised as the game of quick draw. Pictionary. Question number six. It's a game changer for me. Edgar Mallory. Which board game does he appear in? It's Monopoly. He's the jailer in Monopoly. I never knew that. I love that question. Question number seven. Can you name the four colours of a frustration board? Red, blue, yellow. You guessed it. Green. Red, blue, yellow and green. Does this person wear glasses? Of course, it's a typical question that you would ask in guess who. Guess who for number eight. Number nine. Back to square one originates or is influenced by snakes and ladders. Snakes and ladders. And question number 10. In which game is the objective to catch a rodent? It's mousetrap, of course. Mousetrap. It's time to get active again. Find and fetch number three. People are concerned about the state of their hair when they're allowed out again. I don't know why. Mm. Um, can you find three different hair products? Off you go. Well, that's the end of uh, part one of the quiz. Uh, have a little break, get yourself a drink, join us again for part two, where we'll have a food and drink round, a very, very interesting movie round, and we'll finish with a Disney Dare round. Join us again. See you in a moment.